Hey guys, I'm Kevin Lee Jacobs. Today, for the first time in my life, I'm going to make Gloria Koch's Soul Bread. The bread is really popular with the keto diet set because it contains only one gram of carbohydrates per slice. Anyway, heat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and then grease a nine inch loaf pan and line it as anti-sticking insurance with parchment paper. And I'll adjust the camera so you can see the whole recipe up close. So the first ingredient you need is 12 ounces of thoroughly softened full fat cream cheese. And I did microwave this cream cheese for one minute just to make sure it was truly soft. And then you grab your handheld electric beaters and go to town getting the cream cheese nice and fluffy. And then add a quarter cup of heavy cream, yum. And boy, this bread is obviously very different from all the other breads I've made because it contains neither wheat flour nor yeast. So then we add a quarter cup of olive oil. I'm sorry about all the racket, but nothing I can do about that. Also add four tablespoons of melted Oops, melted butter and try not to drop your melted butter bowl into the batter. And finally, beat in four large organic eggs. I guess I can boost the speed on this. One, two, three. And four. Yeah, I made uh, a low carb loaf from the people over at Tasty, and it was all beaten egg whites and egg yolks and almond flour, and I really didn't care for it. So I'm hoping I like this bread a lot better. And hang on while I Set up the dry ingredients. Okay, you'll be glad to know that the dry ingredients are much quieter to mix together. And what we start with is one and two thirds cup of whey protein isolate. And let me tell you, it ain't cheap. Here's the 1.2 pound tub I bought from my local health food store. This was $29.99. So 30 bucks just for that. And let's see, we're going to add everything in here. We also need a half teaspoon salt. And we need one third teaspoon of baking soda. And one teaspoon of xanthan gum and this is the first time I have ever used xanthan gum and let me let me show you the bag this stuff was expensive too this was $13 at my local health food store so I really hope I like this bread because it is an expensive bread indeed now what do I have here oh a half teaspoon of cream of tartar and then <coughs> excuse me two and a half teaspoons of baking powder and then we're just going to sift this into a medium-sized bowl like so uh, this way we don't have any lumps in the in the dry ingredients and what you do is just tap against the sieve and this is a fine mesh sieve and we are almost there folks i'm trying to keep this 
video really exciting for you. And can you hear my dog barking? We have someone in the house who's installing carpeting uh, in, in the old North Wing. And she, uh, she's very suspicious of people she doesn't know. And here we go. We'll just rub that last little bit in. There, done. Then I'm going to move this out of the way. Clear the decks. And then I do need my spatula. Then you grab the wet ingredients and you add the dry. And you fold them in gradually, like so. And you don't want to over mix this. Be sure to just fold. Boy, Avery's really making a, a ruckus. And when you fold, you plunge the spatula straight down and then lift it up and over. And continually turn the bowl as you fold. So plunk and fold, plunk and fold. And if you over beat, if you over mix this, you'll end up with a very dense bread and we don't want that. We want the best bread we can possibly have. And I think mine's mixed enough. So here's the nine inch prepared loaf pan and in goes the batter. And when I get all of that, all of those expensive ingredients out of there. Boy, I hope I didn't waste money on that whey protein and that xanthan gum. Xanthan gum is a, um, is used as a thickener. And if you're on a gluten-free diet, you're probably very familiar with xanthan gum. Anyway, here's the loaf. It looks attractive in the pan. So into the 325 degree oven it goes for, let's see how long, about 45 minutes or until the top turns golden brown. So I'll come back when my bread is finished. Now, while we're waiting for the bread to finish, uh, let me just take a moment to thank you with all my heart for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, also, your likes and shares mean the world to me. And I really love reading your comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And if you'd like to receive notifications, be sure to click the little bell icon on the subscription page. And I'll come back. The bread, I just checked on it, and it's rising very nicely. So I have high hopes for this loaf. Be right back. Okay guys, here's the bread and it rose beautifully and the top is golden brown. I, I think it looks like a million bucks. Um, of course, the proof will be in the tasting. So I'm going to let it cool in this pan for about five minutes. Then I will unmold it, cut a slice and slather it with some butter. I'll be back. Okay, guys, here's the moment of truth. Time for a tasty. And this bread hasn't cooled completely, so if it falls apart, well, that will be my own darn fault. But hey, it did not fall apart. Ooh, have a look. It's got a nice little air bubbles in it, and of course, it demands butter. And it smells pretty good, so here goes a taste. Okay, not bad. It's nothing like real bread made with flour and yeast, but 
I think it's acceptable for sandwiches and maybe even my Thanksgiving stuffing. Let me move the camera up so you can see me. So is this bread worth the price of the whey protein isolate and the xanthan gum? I think so. And I hope you'll give, give this bread a try. Again, it only has one carb per slice. And that's really good news if you're on the Atkins or the keto diet, which are really the same diets. And I think this bread will be great for toast, for sandwiches. And again, I'll probably use it for my Thanksgiving stuffing. Thanksgiving is next week after all. And in the comments field below, let me know if you're on the Atkins or the keto diet and how it's how the diet's coming along for you. I, I love reading your comments. And I will see you next time very, very soon. Ta-ta for now.